fucking fifth time starting this bastard video. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTube, 2 to uk Welcome back to the games room. Ah, loads of things to show. Loads of things. Um, don't be too disheartened if you can see gaps. Uh, clearly, you haven't watched my previous video where I'm sorting shit out. Uh, still ongoing, and um, yeah, I've kind of ran out of the impetus to do the rest of it. <laughs> so it is how it, it is how it is essentially, um, and we'll have to deal with it until I can build up the energy and the wherewithal to finish it off. It, it'll get done. It'll get done. Slowly, slowly, catch a monkey and all that. Talking of monkey, monkey pox. It's fucking on the cards, isn't it? Uh, everyone's gonna have monkey pox sh shots now. Every week you have to have a new shot for monkey pox. To be a new variant. Fucking joke. I can see it coming. Um, anyway, any roads up? Little update. Because I know everybody loves these uh, cur tooty current gen videos. It's a household name. Um, Octopath Traveller, again, for those who probably haven't watched. Um, I've technically complete beat. Yeah. Tony, back in the day gamer. He says, I've beat the game, I haven't completed it. That's what he says. So I'm going to rip him off. I've beat the game, I haven't completed it. Because there is uh, an, an, a proper, proper end boss. And he's tough as nails. And it takes a lot of grinding. Uh, I've given it one shot. I obviously didn't didn't finish him off. Um, but yeah, 120 hours. Now, when I say 120 hours, bear in mind that's not 120 hours playing straight. That's like me pausing it, going walking the dog and stuff like that. So it's kind of sat there in the background, churning over. And uh, still playing Lego Star Wars. Um, it might have been Steve Cooper's will said, oh, there's a patch coming out for this. Yes, I applied the patch last night. And it still fucking crashes. So that is not good. Das is nicht gut. Das ist nicht gut. Um, it is a quite, it's a, it's a quite, it is an enjoyable game, but the crashing and the fucking defects in it is, is horrendous. It does ruin it. So it crashes and it's just like, fuck that, turn it off now. I'll go back to it. I'll go back to it later today, probably. Um, but I've got uh, an, up, uh, an update. I've got some stuff that we picked up from the Birmingham Gaming Market, which was 8th of May. Some some nice bits. And I've got, obviously, the, the mighty, the awesome, the all-ruling, the all-powerful CEX stuff. Standard. And uh, that's really about it. No car boots. Still not going to go to the booter. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I've just not got the mojo for, for car booting. I think what it might be is I don't want to start filling the room with just shit. He says, well, you can see a big pile of shit there, look. See that big pile? Oh, that's charity shop. You don't want to see all that Xbox 360 shit, do you? I did pick, pick this. This is quite nice. Breath of the Wild Wild. Breath of the Wild Wild. Breath of the Wild Wired um, controller. Controller. There's another one. Looks, looks like one of them knockoff. Neon ones, a pile of Xbox 360 shit. It's all shit. Um, yeah, some DS games. That's quite nice. Namco Museum and the Game Boy Advance. Um, yeah, that's all shit. I'm not supposed to bother showing you that crap. Um, yeah, more 360, some PS3, some DS shit. Uh, 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 uh. Um, <laughs> got a new console. Got a new console. There's a story behind that console. Um, but what we'll do first, we'll do the Birmingham gaming market, the Brummy gaming market. Um, like I say, it was a Sunday. It's on a Sunday at the Custard Factory. Now they did this last year, I think, and they were doing the old Rona fucking restrictions. And I was like, fuck that, I ain't doing that shit. Fucking going in a stupid fucking face napping all that crap so I didn't I just deft it off um but obviously this year the, the scene sense is all back to normal again funnily enough with the older uh, restrictions and stuff so I, I was none the wise I didn't really have an opinion uh Fob and myself had done the the first sort of Birmingham market which was in the university and it was all right it did okay I know a lot of people didn't so you know it, it was a bugger to find it was a bugger to get to because they dug half of Birmingham up but got there, um, and again, like I say, went in blind, didn't really have great expectations for it, but it ended up being an absolute fucking bout. It was 
packed. I don't think I've, we've stalled out at an event where consistently there's been a churn of people. I mean, literally right up until like half an hour. Usually Doncaster, you get to two o'clock, half two, and it just like, psh, that's it, it's it's done. And, you know, it's kind of just traders walking around, chatting and buying bits and bobs off each other. Um, but at Birmingham, it was, it, like I say, it was the, the churn, the people were still there up until half, you know, half past three, uh, which is good. Um, so I've seen a few fi familiar faces, obviously... Uh, we could make Fob, we were stalling. Uh, Dane Star and Liam from Hidden Chess Gaming were behind us. Um, there was none of the other regular sort of people from the YouTube community stalling us. There's no wish wash or anything like that. Uh, who do we see? They've seen Darth Steve. He was, <laughs> I don't think Darth Steve had home to go to at the end. I kept saying that to us. I said, Look, the missus been beating you up again, mate. Why don't you go home? Uh, Retro Bear was there. Uh, James from Retro Import Gaming, nice to see him again. All these people, other than Darth Steve, who was at, who was at the end, all the other people was all but very briefly because it was fucking packed. See Martin from Martin, I've seen him before the first Birmingham Game Market. Nice to see Martin. Um, Dale from Daily Retro, although he didn't know who I was, which is fine. I get trying to get that, you know. Um, so, hello, Dale. Nice to see you. Oh, hello. <laughs> but that's fine. I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, Dale's a nice guy, nice channel. Relatively new, I think. Go over and check. Oh, all these people did. Links down below. I'm going to forget somebody in on. Um, God damn it, damn it. Oh, Little Lee and Kieran, Game Boy's awesome, they were there. They'd been to the toy fair beforehand. Um, there'll be some of the people that the mind will be uh, jumping all over the place. But I found, didn't spend a lot. Didn't spend a lot at all. Um, Paul Villa was there, nice to see Paul, he was stalling out. He'd come all the way down from Landan. So I think Doncaster's probably a touch too far. I think Birmingham's his limit. I first met Paul in Milton Keynes. Um, so... I mean, like I said, I'd, I'd have wandered around some of the stalls and stuff. There just wasn't anything really grabbing my attention. But Paul had some nice boxed Super Nintendo games. Um, and he did me a cracking price on them. Well, cracking price. The cracking condition. So I said, look, knock, knock a fiver off and uh, we've we got a deal. Which he did. Um, this one, uh, uh, I say glaring admission. It's not really because what I'd done with the Super Nintendo games... Especially when I'd got the Retron 5 back then, it was like, oh yeah, I can get all these like Super Famicom games. So a lot of the games I was buying Super Famicom. Now I'm not going like purely PAL or anything like that, but like some of these there, because they were there, they were, they were a good price and something I've been interested in. And again, I've got this on this Super um, Super Famicom, but I didn't have the PAL version. It's Stunt Race FX. It not, you know, I think for its time and the, the technology, it was like, impressive but you go back to it now it's not a great one um say so paul had 20 quid and i got the, the box protected with it um which one was it this one needed a clean i had to swap my cartridge over which is again not not a problem um what was i going to say about this one of the oh that's one of the few with the fx chip so there's not many of them i thought you know what it's there it's a good price and when I finally sorted out the, the, the actual game, I thought, fuck it, I ain't got stunt race effects. That's, it's not an expensive game at all. Now, this one, this one is a, a little bit tricky because I've, I've got this on the watch list on uh, CEX and it doesn't come up very often. And um, the only reason why I was like, even remotely interested in it is because it's one of the very few games that does the scope. Now, uh, this cartridge needed a clean as well. I don't know what it was, but everything counts was, was fine. And it looked like he'd got a load of empty boxes and a piece stuff together because the contents for the manual and the box didn't really match the cartridge. Uh, but it's Battle Clash, so it's one of these, you know, one of the very few like dedicated scope games. So again, it was there. He had it at twenty-five. I said, "Look, we do the, the two for forty. He was like, "Yeah, fine." Um, he said, "Oh, have you checked? I'll make sure they're in there." I said, "You." Fucking dodgy bastard. 
Um, but upon checking this one, they've been opening it on the wrong fucking end. So it was technically sealed. It was like, oh, it's sealed. Well, I ain't fucking sealed anymore because I've opened it. Um, and you can tell it's never been opened because that hinge is really tight. <laughs> but they're lovely condition inside. But the car needed the right old scrub. Just didn't it didn't um didn't match up. Oh he was missing missing the tray. Missing the tray from the old mate Fob. Fob had done some trays had to make this tray. It gave me a load of them. But thank you. Brilliant, making me sad. I've got to glue them all together, but that's fine. I'm happy with that. Yeah, it was missing the tray as well. No, it had a tray, but the tray was fucked. The tray was absolutely battered. Uh, so I put a new tray in it. And useful to have them trays, definitely. Uh, so I say that was really the bulk of what I've got. Just two, you know, not like massive, expensive games, but two, that, especially Battle Clash, you don't see that often at all. Um, it reminds me, just from the screenshots of um, Sonic Blastman in the arcades, but um, yeah, you know, I say for 40 quid, I thought I'd treat myself, I've got their murdy doors anyway, so I'd, I'd had a, took a little bit of money, but there wasn't really anything else there that was tickling my fancy. Um, you know, you had like Nick Vintage Gamer there, um, Console Passion were there, but they weren't selling, they were selling more of their 8-bit stuff, so... That was out the window. There was a chap there. Oh, what was he called? I want to say something like Simon. Simon, as in PSI. PSI man, Simon. But he had a load of adapters. And it was a weird thing because I'd been looking for one for the Amiga Mini, the A500 Mini, because I'd... the pad's okay, but it's not what I'm used to. I'm used to playing with a quick shot Python. And I've got fucking loads of them in, in, in the garage um, but you need an adapter to go from the 8 pin Atari connection to USB and this guy had a load of stuff like that and I asked him about it, he goes oh I'm on eBay and I said are you and then when he showed me his card I said I'm watching one of your items and he said oh yeah but it won't work with the 500 mini it's about 40 quid, 40 quid adapter I said it won't work I was like oh for fuck's sake so um the hunt's still on for one of them, so if anybody knows of an Atari connection to USB that will work, give me a shout. So I just want to plug in a normal joystick. And I know there's the, the, the USB zip stick, but I don't, I'm don't. i not a zip stick guy. Not for the Amiga, it's always about the, the, the Quick Shot, Quick Shot Python or Quick Shot Python 2. That's how it is. But what we did get and it kind of was from the market but didn't buy them from the market um dana and liam from chess gaming they put a post up i think on the page I'm sure it was on the page said this has just come in and i was like mate i just took some pictures of my uh my collection because he said which ones do you need and i didn't know because i thought it's just easy to take a picture and when i showed him the pictures it's like I said it looks like all of them i think i've got one or two of these um, Luke's got, I've got more than one or two. I might have four out of them. There's five games here. Um, Luke's cart. But they are some fucking mighty Atari 2600. And in fantastic condition. Um, amazing. The obligatory Space Invaders. And the, Honestly, I'm not going to spend too long on these. But the boxes are all like this. That's got a sticker on. I might get a sticker off. It looks like it's um, know, maybe a Toys R Us one or something. Uh, so we've got Space Invaders. We've got Championship Soccer, which is Pele's Championship Soccer. This game program is personally endorsed by Pele. Uh, you can't say more than, fairer than that, can you? Can I get it on there? Can I read it? There you go, look. Fucking okay, no. hell. But again, all. And there's none of that sump. That you get with these you know because obviously the cartridge sits up here not down here so this is like a void and sometimes you get like a weird sump and concave there um outlaw the outlaws 
nice brown box. The, anyone's wondering, the P on the top there, I think that denotes PAL. And Video Pinball. There's a pinball wizard. And last but not least, the Mighty Breakout. And I do have the paddles. I've got a set of paddles. Oh, no, I have. I've had a few sets of paddles. So, five fantastiche. We ain't gonna fucking cheesy. You know the old cheesy thumbnails? I've not really been pushing them too much. I've just been grabbing stuff from the video. Um, I can't remember who said it. Someone said to me, oh, you've been putting a lot of effort. No, this is less effort. Less effort. To do a cheesy thumbnail than it is to fucking actually put some... I still ain't doing that shitty white outline. You know. And all that crap that they fucking do. Fucking hell, man, honestly. I never, I don't get it. Could someone please explain to me why putting a white thing around? What, 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 how did you come up with that? Why? What's it for? What does it mean? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand. Um, but yeah, some, I say, some really nice Atari games. And those that have watched the video, I have got quite a lot of bucks Atari games. Um, so when I sort of seen these, I was like, oh, I've got to have them. I've got to have them. We'll find home. We will find home. There's no doubt about it. Damn it, running out of water. Water. Still not had a drink. In all in August it'll be a year. Then no one could call me a fucking alcoholic. Or alcohol dependent or anything like that. And you can't call me bald either. I've had my hair cut. Went to the old fucking Albanian Albanian butchers. Um, cheaper, <laughs> fucking cheap, cheap and cheerful. I don't know what you're gonna say. Yeah, we can tell that Stu. Fucking look at it, it's slick man. This is slick. Um, but the nice guys in there as well, to be honest. So there's been a, there's a couple in the in the town, a couple of barbers. There's loads of barbers. Everyone's got fucking barbers everywhere now, haven't they? But they're all like fucking fifteen quid, seventeen quid, eighteen quid, and all this bullshit. And some of them, since the fucking round now, you got a book. Fuck, it's a barbers, mate. I'm, Pissing fucking women's hairdressers where you have to book three months in advance. I ain't doing that. No, these boys, man, just rock up and get your fucking barnet chopped. Um, but yeah, they did my fucking eyebrows, did my fucking airy nug holes, the whole lot. Fucking great. I've got nowhere to go, like, but. Uh, and I'm not fucking bold. Look, right, bloody shit, shit on my shoes. Jack, do this, Jack, do that. Well, I won't have it, you hear that? It's not right. I mean, I'm older than they are. Huh? Are you fucking kids? Do you want one? No, I don't fucking want one. Stuff your sweets. What was eating you are? Like a fucking dustbin. Why don't you give it a rest? I like sweets. You like sweets? You get fat, you know that. I'm not going out with a fat cow like you. I'll give it a rest, eh, Jack? I'm fat, but you're bald. What's the difference? I'm not bald. I've told you that. I'm not fucking bald. Get out of here! Get out of here! Fuck off! Out of here! Hopefully I'll put that clip in there if I can find it. Um, I like sweets. I like sweets. I'm not fucking bald. You're fat and I'm not bald. But no, it is, honestly, my hair's, my head's always been like this. It's called um, Widow's Peak. I've had a look at pictures of me. My younger, it's just all it is. They, that front bit grows longer. And as I'm getting older, I can't be arsed pissing about with hair. And if it's me, I can't be arsed putting anything in it. They always ask me, do you want anything in it? No, I just want to wash it and fucking leave it. I just can't be doing with pissing about with it. Um, so yeah, add me air cup for just for fucking YouTube. See, this is the thing. This is the lengths I go to for you guys. Now, obviously, it's cost me cost me twelve pound to have this cut. So I need to recoup that money. So obviously, any you know donations because without you guys, this channel just wouldn't survive. I, you know, I just wouldn't be able to get a haircut. You're gonna have to cut down down to one light soon, or maybe no lights. Just have a candle. Anyway, <laughs> we're not doing that anymore. I said I weren't doing that, didn't I? Um, the wondrous best way to do that. Do that. Do that. Do this. Fucking do this, you bastards. I do see X last. I do see X last. Um, right, so we've, we've, I'm trying to do the story right so it makes a bit of sense and has a bit of a intrigue. Intrigue. So, off of a Facebook marketplace, 
this was just randomly listed. I did have a look at the guys, what the, the stuff he had. I don't think he had anything else that was like similar. That was a woman, anything similar. So one of the tenor for this, and he worked far from me. So I messaged him and said, is this still available? I want it. And bizarrely, this must be the most common console I've ever picked. I must have picked up fucking hundreds, if not, no, not a thousand, hundreds of these things. Never, I think I've got one boxed one, but not this um, variate, this variant. And this is the most common one. I think it's the most common one. The one I've got is a black one. I think that's an early one. Of all of all these machines I've ever seen, I've, I've only ever I've got one box for one of them. And this come up, it's got all the stuff in there, all the gubbins, and it's a PlayStation 2 box. Stu, fucking um, generation pixel here like this. It's not in bad nick. No, honest, honest box, but honest, honest box, but honestly. Slim PS2s, yeah, loads. Fat PS2 boxes. Pfft just don't see them, I don't know what it is. Um, again, I'm not going to bore you too much, but 10 quid, 10 squids. It's got the polys, it's got the baggies, the polythenes, the discs, destructions, fucking everything. So, I was like, yes, and I've got quite, I have got a nice PlayStation 2. Uh, to go in there. I remember I've cleaned it all up and bagged it up just so it didn't get knocked, knocked and dinked because they do, they are prone to scrap. I mean, they're all fucked anyway. They're all, you know, and played to death, haven't they? Um, but you've not got nowhere to put it. I couldn't leave it for a tenner. So anyway, what then happened, I went to go and collect it thinking it was from this woman and the chap answered. And I was like, oh, hello, you know, I asked him about the console because I asked the woman because I thought it's a bit odd that there's just one empty box. I said, Oh, you've got anything else? She said, No, no, got nothing else like that. So when I went to collect it um, from the bloke, and he went, Oh, have you got the? He goes, You do realize it's an empty box, don't you? I said, Yeah, yeah. I said, I've got the console at home. I said, It's just a shame I've got the console. He goes, Well, I have got it. I was like, Oh, I said, I asked your wife if you had any of the gaming stuff, and she said, No, we haven't got anything like that. He goes, Oh, no, I have. So I'm like, Huh? And anyway, it turns out he is a bit of a collector. He said, basically he sort of said he's going on a bit, he's going and he's been on a bit of a retro kick. Um, but apparently he has these fads, he was telling me, I don't know, might be related to fucking Daz and um, Snestastic Pete. Joking, joking. <laughs> but so anyway, so he's like, yeah, I've got an N64s and this, da, 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 da. So I just did the usual, I said, look, if you've got anything that you're looking to shift on, give me a shout. I said, I'm literally like 10 minutes down the road. Um, your wife's got me details, this, that, and that. And then he went to say, ah, I have got another box. He goes, the only other thing that I, I, that I would get rid of is that my mum's. Is a, is a box. And it's a box for a da 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 system. I was like, oh, I'm interested. I said, if it's, if it's this one, I've already got one, so I don't want another one then. But if it's the other one, it will come to make sense. Then I'm definitely interested. He goes, well, look, I've got to go to Holmes at the weekend, this, that, and I'll let you know. Anyway, long story short, contact me back again. And he said, got it. Got the box. It's yours. Here's a picture. And it was the one that I was after. So I was like, oh, made up. Made up. I love that. Because how much do you want for it? Because same price, £10. So I went around there, picked it up again. Again, had a little bit more of a chat to him. Basically sort of said, look, looking to shift any other stuff on, let me know, you step me So what we ended up with was an empty box for an Atari 7800. So those stalwarts of the channel might recall that, and it's probably still up there, I did a video because Jay Cybersnake, yeah, that guy, rest in peace, Jay. Top bloke he was. He's still alive, he's, he doesn't do video gaming stuff. Um, he very kindly, in one of his sort of thinning out process, he, he, he gifted me his Atari 7800 with some games. But then, like they all do, the daft bastard, realised he missed it. And I can't remember what game it was. There was a couple of games he wanted to play and he was trying to buy another one. I said, I said, mate, I'll just give you yours back. I've still got it. It's still as it was. I've still got all the games, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I think Dangster dropped that off round to him. So, you know, I was still, I was out without a 7800, which is fine. Cause it, Let's say he gifted it to me, and I'm not, you know, <laughs> it basically is anyway. Um, but this guy's had the box, and he sort of said, 
we were talking about it because it's still got the, the Toys and Us sticker on. 1989, I think it is. Yeah, it's late 80s, early 90s. 1989. And he said he doesn't remember this. He said he, he thinks he lent it to his sister for the nephews to play on and never got it back. So he go, it's probably long gone. But the box, there's a, I'm not going to bore you, but the contents are in there, the instructions are there, the box for the charge is in there. So, like I say, really nice condition. And for, for a tenner, I was like, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it for a tenner. Um, so, it's got to find a 20, uh, 7800. So, this was, I think this was after, this was after the Birmingham gaming market. And I thought to myself, I don't remember seeing one there anyway. I thought, nah, I don't think there's one there. So I've been looking out for a 7800 for that. They're not as common as you think at all. So we went to eBay. And um, like I said, there was a new, there's a new console coming in. That's not technically not a new console, is it? So what I did find for a, a fantastic price... Um, I it for 60 quid. I said, would you take 70? He said, yes, fine. He'd sent this second class by Royal Mail. Not second class. 48 hours, two days. It took nine days. Ten, on the 10th day, you can claim back. The bastards. Um, but it's not a console that I've had in the collection. And it is an Xbox. Series X. One terabyte look. Is it fog? <laughs> it is the box, but it's not that's one of it. It is a 28700. This is 7800. Um, this one was boxed as well. The box is nowhere near as good condition as that. Uh, but I was just really after the, the machine. And um, I say it was on there for 50 odd quid. It's basically 60 quid all in. I think you had the best offers. So I added a tenner on and he accepted it. Uh, test it does work. Now what I have done with this, I've ordered um, a mod from the Future is 8-bit. I always thought it was in the UK, it's not from, it seems to be from America. But what it essentially allows you to do is take the RF module out, stick in um, a composite. I would say composite, but composite for this, it's the only real way you can do it anyway. And it does look loads better. But this... The Futures 8-bit one, is it's like four wires, it's really clean. A lot of them, you drill the holes at the sides and you put the, um, the pin outs there. Well, this one has like a multi-jack. So you put it, it's like a, a three and a half inch, uh, three and a half inch mil jack. <clears throat> Plug it in there and it obviously splits off then into the uh, um, red, white and yellow. So it's basically composite, but it's a nice clean install. Um, yeah, come with the two controllers. They come with the really weird, I don't know if you can see it, it's like a proprietary power supply, two pin. And again, you can mod that, you can change that to, if you haven't got the power supply to a normal nine pin one. But I've got the power supply, so I'll, I'll just leave it as, as, as stock. The two controllers, two little weird funky pads. And, and a couple of games. Um, again, I'm not sure. I have got some loose 7800 ones. I don't know if I've got any of these. Uh, food fight's quite a nice one. Impossible mission with a manky cartridge, which did include a sellotape to fucking death, I don't know why, manual. An alien brigade, which is quite... I remember seeing this in a few shows. Um, kind of quite pricey, I think. I think, I don't know. But what it does mean, that that's sort of now my 7800. I've got a nice box there, but the problem is now I want a normal one just to put in that so I can pack it away and never play it again. So I'll always be on the lookout, you know, to set it. But you don't see it. It's not It's not as common as you think at all. Um, so, again, part of the weird... I mean, I wasn't looking for the box, but I've got those games, those 2600 games from, from Dana and Leon. And it just kind of seemed to be like an Atari snow. Does that happen to other people or what? You kind of get caught up in it, don't you? You go, you go fucking bundling down a, a certain rabbit hole. And that's where it led me. So I was like, yeah, man, I'm going to get a 700. So now I can, I don't know. Weird. Weird stuff, man. No water. That's blowing it. 
But uh, I'm just trying to think about the Birmingham Light, if there's anybody else. I think I've bloody missed somebody. I don't think I have. There wasn't many, there wasn't many sort of YouTubers there at all, to be honest. But it was, did fantastic, honestly. Um, really surprised my, me and the surprise of, of quite a lot of people, I think, that's how well we did. And again, it might be because there wasn't a lot of people stalling out. And that always helps. Um, but, but let's jump back. Let's jump back. Let's jump to CX. Bit of an update. Um, you know, remember last the last vid I sort of said uh, I'd got this 15 quid. Didn't have it. Now I did fucking have it. Super Game Boy. So this is my one I did have, if you can just stick it there. But what mine didn't have was a tray. So, what do they call it? Upselling. So I bought the box one from CX for 15 quid. I took the tray out, put it into my, which is a nicer box, to be honest. It is a nicer box. A um, lot less dinks. <laughs> I, took, I took the box one with the, the you know, the, the adapter and the instructions. And I, I sold it. <laughs> Birmingham got for 25 quid. So there you go. I'm sticking back up there. That's where it lived up in that corner. So I've got a free I've got a free tray and um 10 quid. Someone got a deal, man, and then people are selling them for fucking 50 quid. I am ripping anybody off. I just thought, well, if I can get my money back and make a bit, then why not? I think I had it for 30 and the guy I said I said 25. I was like, yeah, sad. Done. So we went way happy, I was happy, that was it. Um, only three, three items um, from CX. Again, all, all bought, that was store bought. These are all just online, you know, fucking the roulette that I own. Hashtag roulette, hashtag CX roulette. Um, what are we on? 30 minutes. This one, um, again, on sorting the shelving out, it kind of dawned on me, I was like, oh fuck. I don't know where I bought the original one from, but I must have just thought, ah, it don't matter, because it, it does play in English, but it's not, it wasn't a Palais one. Um, and again, surprisingly tricky to find. So, off of CEX, we've got Road Fighter, the Palais copy. Um, the one I had, well I have, is the Pal B one. This is in German, Deutschland. Uh, but probably a nicer box, but unfortunately it's not... Um, the, the text on the box isn't multilingual. The, the game plays in English because I've played it. Um, but this one uh, needs a bit of an iron. Not doing anything with it. It's missing the um, polycube. But it does have everything else in it. Instructions. Quite nice, you know. Uh, weren't cheap. 25 quid, I think. If memory serves me correctly. And uh, yeah, because you think uh, it's like an action, it's basically action. I think it's the NES's version of action, or vice versa. I can't remember which way chicken and egg, which one came first. Um, but very much like Action Fighter, and that's it. It's all um, Spy Hunter, if, if you like. But uh, it popped up on CEX. I thought, you know what, let's have a punt, and it comes through complete, so that's why it's staying in the collection. And uh, I'll move, I'll move the, this other uh, version over. It is slightly different actually, I've just realised the cover is different. It's got Konami, distributed by Konami on the PAL B one look. So there is a very slight change, but probably box wise, it's probably a nicer box. It's a shame. Um, then, more, more SNES. Another SNES game. <laughs> I had a complete brain fart. I don't know why. Right. Super Nintendo game, the only super, the super, the only other Super Nintendo, the only Super Nintendo game from CEX uh, this month at the minute. Uh, I can't think how much it was. Thirty-five quid, I think. Thirty-five quid. Oh, I don't forget. I always buy boxed. Just buy boxed. Um, but I knew. I thought, well, if this doesn't come through with a manual, I'm all right because I know I've got a loose manual. And it's Super Adventure Island. So you, you, you all know about Super Adventure Island and, and the Wonder Boy story and stuff like that. And Hudson Soft. It's like a basic reskin, if you like. 
uh, but very much akin Wonder Boy and, and Adventure Island share the same DNA. Um, a wonderful box, uh, and when it comes through, I thought oh, there's no man. I could tell, I could tell there's no manual. But uh, yeah, all all there other than that, other than the manual. But I did have a manual. So from the manual stash, the Super Adventure Island. So a nice complete. Like I say, really in terms of like structure and that. And because it's even black, it's not been bashed about too much. Um, so, yeah, chuffed to get that. Th I'm sure it's 35 quid. Uh, I have been grouping the Super Nintendo. You can't see it because of reflection. Um, but I have been grouping more and more of them into um, developer or publisher. Can you see? Yeah, you can see the ocean ones. It's why there are some gaps and stuff's tilting and whatnot. Um, but I'm not sure if we've got any Hudson Soft. We must have some hoods and soft ones somewhere. I've got some sun soft. There'll be some somewhere. There'll be a group of them. There'll be a group of them knocking about together, fucking with knives. Um, and then the last, the last one that I got from this is a, this was, ended up being a great buy. Really did. Um, it come through. What was it Sunday? It come through on the Thursday, I think, before the gaming market. Um, Hundred and twenty five quid. So not a cheap game. It is an NES title or Nintendo. It's Nintendo apparently. Um, Tony back 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 in the day, gamer says it's not called NES or, or NES. It's called Nintendo. So on the Nintendo, um, I think I did mention this in my <coughs> video when I was talking about the collection. It's one one of the games. It's not. I don't want to get. I don't want to get. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind getting all the NES PAL games all box complete. But it's not like some of them. Fucking going half a level for, but this is one. There's a few that I wouldn't, that I'd like to have that way, and this was one of them. This was a bigger mission in terms of being it box complete. 125 quid. Um, PayPal did this thing where you can pay in three, which seemed like is it a bit dodgy or what? But it just means you'd split the payment. There's no interest or anything. I was like, fuck it, yeah, I'll have a go. Um, if it don't work out, take it back to CEX. They refund me and PayPal get the money back. So pff, nothing. Nothing to lose, everything to gain. And it is the Legend of Zelda. And this come from CEX, I'm not shitting you, boxed. And you don't see it. The worst of it is where someone's took the, the Nintendo sticker off. This is in fantastic condition. Because I had, I had a third party, like Universal Box, <clears throat> had the manual, had the map, which were, they weren't in bad condition. The cartridge was nice, you know, the gold cartridge was nice. Um... So I was, I was really just looking for a box. It's got the polycube in it. <clears throat> I mean, this cartridge is fucking glistening. You know, a lot of these you get a bit of wear, the black. But... Got the manual. And you've got the map slash tit, tits. Tits! We like tits. We like tits for hits. But... This is usually like ragged to fucking hell. But really, really nice map slash tits tits book. Um, it's 125 quid. So I took my copy. To, you got us coming now, don't you? Took my copy to the Birmingham market. I think I had 100 quid on it. Some guy was interested. He could tell he was interested. We haggled a little bit, and I think I sold it to him for 90. I think it was 90. So you know what? This cost me like even like it cost me 40 quid or something stupid. He, he got a good deal, he was happy, and I've got a really fucking really nice example of uh, Zelda. And he's put it in the wrong way around, like a twat. Um, that is UKV. So my one as well, it still plays in English, but it was the FRA one. A lot of them are FRAs. Even in the the UKV boxes, the FRAs, I think. I don't know, there was something going on at that time. I think Nintendo were like juggling stock around and I think a lot of stuff was getting repackaged and reused elsewhere. Um, you know, we know that Sega did that as well with the US, didn't, you know, with the mass system. So I, I don't think Nintendo was any different when it came to the NES stuff. Um, but, yeah. Nice way to finish the video absolute cracker right gang that's it tootie out 
Um, don't know in the next video we'll see what, what shit we can we can acquire at 40 minutes that is more than long enough take it easy youtube and i'll speak to you soon bye bye